how to delete multiple messages or emails in Thunderbirds. Well, this is the Thunderbirds email application. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to the relevant account. So I'm in this inbox. I've imported some old emails. So if I, I again, deleting one simple, highlight the one you want. I've done this with the mouse and then press delete. That will then delete that message. If I want to delete a range, so say this is a cluster of say three or four, I'm, I'm holding the, I select the one I want. I now press the shift key. This will work with Mac and PC. And now I select that range by holding down the shift key. So select the first one, press the shift key down, and now press the last one you want in that range. And then I press the delete key, and then that will delete. Or we think it's deleted. I'll come to something important to know at the end. So those are in the deleted box. They should be here, there. But so now if I want to delete by selecting individuals, I can go to that one. Now press the command or control key. And now I can select that one. Now I'm adding to it. Keeping the command key pressed, I can add to that one and to add to that one. So now I'm just cherry picking, keeping the command key down and I'm moving through my selections and then obviously press the delete key. Now, if I wanted to select all of them in the inbox, I could just hi highlight anywhere and then go command or control A and that would select the entire message itself. So I've got 50 in there or 5,000, it would select them all. So now let's do some slight differences where we're going to select ranges. So what I need to do, I need to hold certain keys down. So if I go select that, press the shift key. So now I've got that range of four, press the command key, keeping the command key pressed down. Now press the shift key. I've now added to that. So once I've gone beyond the first range, I'm going to be using the command or control key a lot now. So I'm going to press the command key again. Now press the shift key because I want to add to this new range. So now you can see I've got three lots, I was going to say four, three lots of ranges. So I've got a range there and a range there and a range there. So I'll walk through that again. So select the first one, press the shift key now to press where I want that range to end. If I wanted to add this one individually, I can do that. I've just pressed the command key or control key on the PC. Now I'm pressing the control key. And now I'm going to press the shift key. So now I've added another range. I'm now pressing the command key or control key. Now pressing down the shift key on that third one. So by adding shift on the first one, we'll add to the first range. Anything after I need to press the command key. And if I wish to extend that second range and not deselect the first one, I need to press command and shift. So I'll, one, one last time, if I wanted those two at the bottom, I can either do them individually or I can press command key. Now press keeping command down or control key on the PC. So I'm control and shift and press that down. So now I've added to that range. So now I've got all of them. I can now press the delete key. It will delete them and move them into the delete deleted messages. So they're all there. Now they're still in the deleted box. And if this was set up as in my IMAP, they're still in the deleted box on the server. So if these was, somebody had sent you photos or PDFs and they were taking 50 megabytes in your inbox, yes, they're still using your mail allocation. It's just been moved into your deleted items. If you go to your deleted folder, you can right click and then select empty deleted. That will empty your deleted folder. And depending to your settings on your IMAP, it should also flush the server's deleted items as well. And again, this would be mirrored across your, all your devices. Select your, the ones you want. So select the first one. Now to extend the range, press shift. 
and go to the last one. That's that range extended. If we want to start a new range, press the control or command key. Now press the shift key and that adds to the range and you just keep doing that as much as, as many times as you want command key command and shift or control and shift so then you can add multiple ranges after a bit you get you get used to it get pretty quick if you found that video helpful do give us a thumbs up don't forget to tap subscribe and i'll see you in the next video